Welcome to Lesson 10. Today we are going to discuss and work with Flash, video and audio. How times have changed. When the web was still young, animated GIFs were all the rage. It was a wow moment. Now you could put pseudo video on your website. Eventually, Adobe would create Flash and that allowed for video, animation and audio on the web. Flash also allows people to create games. However, not all devices support Flash. HTML5 would introduce new ways to incorporate video and audio. JavaScript libraries have been developed that made it easier for people to include animations, thus reducing the desire or need to make things in Flash. So let's take a look at a few ways to incorporate audio and video. Okay, so today we're going to work with video and audio. <clears throat> First, I wanted to show some of the plugins that are available. So. The book talks about script.aculo.us. So here's a demo from their website of what this script can do. Click for effect appear demo, just appears, a fading demo, a puff demo, whoa, blinds going down, blinds going up, shaking demo, dropout. So this allows us to put animation on our website. So this is a JavaScript library, script.aculo.us, that's the website. It'll eventually go to this one, but that's not, nothing to worry about. And there's a lot of things it can do. It's highlighting demo. Another, so this one library you could use to add f, uh, effects to your website. Now another one is mediaelement.js. So here it says, it describes itself, HTML5, video and audio made easy one file, any browser, same UI. So I'm going to demonstrate this right now. So let me explain about this. So HTML5 added these video and audio tags which makes it easy to include video and audio but not all devices support it. So here's an HTML5 video tag. Here I tell it, I open the tag, add elements, width, height, source of the video, which is this video here, geronimo.mp4, what type it is, so it's a video mp4. I gave it an ID. This is part of this uh, JavaScript library we'll talk about. And controls. And we don't want any preloading. And then down here I want to show the, the, the uh, player one mode. So that's part of this JavaScript library. So we'll see for this media element .js library, we add our jQuery source. Then we add another script which is the media element and player uh, library. And then we link to their style sheet, which is media element player .css. So when we see this in action, let me just comment this out for now. We see it creates this. It creates this me media player that should work in almost um, every browser. So. The idea behind a media element JS is so that if a site doesn't support HTML5 audio, it'll fall back to either Flash or Silverlight. And so if I hit play, the video I picked starts playing. Can't really flash fast forward, but you can make it full screen. Pause that and go back to our HTML. And we can even add you know, a placeholder. I mean, poster. Poster equals. I pick this JPEG. That's so when I look at it. Where we go? We see that now there's a poster for the video. I picked something that was totally different than the video, but once you hit play, it'll still start playing the video. So this library really makes it easy. So you can include HTML5 video tags in your page, and as long as you include this. Uh, this library, the jQuery library, the media element library, and their CSS, it'll make the player work in almost every browser. So audio is almost the same way. So I'll uncomment this out. And here we have the audio tag. The ID, ID, I give it an ID, player2, and we have controls, the source, demo mp3, and the type. We have to make sure to tell it the type. So it's audio MPEG. So mp3 is our audio MPEG. Let's go 
back to there. And here's the audio. So if I hit play, you should hear the audio. And so that's the MP3 playing. And so now, another way to put a video on your website is to embed it. So I'm gonna go over here to YouTube. So I, I picked out this Batman vs Superman official trailer. I thought it was pretty nice, so I thought, let me put this on my website. So you would click, first you click this button here which says share. This little drop down shows up. Share, it asks you Facebook, Twitter, and all these things. But you want this tab, this tab here, embed. You click embed, and it highlights all this code here. So we're gonna right click that, copy it, and go back to NetBeans. Go back to NetBeans, and we're gonna paste it. I'm just gonna hit save right now and take a look at it. And there it is. It embedded that video from YouTube. And I can play it and it's gonna play from YouTube on my website. So let's take a look at some of the options they give us here. So this whole thing says width, height, the source is this YouTube video here, and frame border, we can give it a frame border if we want. Let's give it a frame border of five and see how that looks. Give us a little bit of a border, it's hard to see. And if we didn't like the height, we can you know change it to maybe 400 width and 400 height. We want like a nice square box. The video will play all scrunched in there. You can even make the width longer if you wanted to. Let's say I wanted 800 width. There, now it's kind of widescreen. And also you can make this full screen if you want to. And so that's pretty much the gist of adding audio and video to your website. You can embed your own audio and video, which are these local files here. You see Geronimo MP4 and our My Demo MP3. You can give it a poster, or you can embed video from other websites, such as YouTube. If you know it's um, if I clicked on this here, and pause that, and I click share, embed, it gives me another link to copy, just copy it, and let me paste it before the Batman video, hit save, let's take a look at our page, and there it is, playing straight from YouTube. And that's that's it.